Oh, I hit him in the head. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Do not play Nintendo Dogs like this. Yeah. Oh. What's up everyone, Alex here. It's nice to do another Mayu Mini video again because this is such a perfect little handheld and having even more reason to play it again is just a real joy. For some people, this isn't new information as people have been demonstrating Nintendo DS emulation on the Mini for some time now. However, it never really interested me because what I saw either didn't run well or had lots of audio problems. But then I saw some really good performance for it recently and I had to check it out for myself. And it's pretty exciting now that an entire library of games will be playable on the Mayu Mini now. And it's properly being developed for Onion OS now and will hopefully be arriving in their 4.3.0 update. As of right now though, you can absolutely grab the Drastic Emulator for yourself and start playing Nintendo DS games right away. It's very simple. If you go to the GitHub link in the video description, you can see a list of assets you can download. We want to grab Drastic version 1.6. After that, you want to have your SD card with Onion OS on ready to access in your computer. Then we drag the Drastic folder from the compressed archive and add it to the EMU folder in Onion OS. And then it's ready to go. All you need to do now is go to your ROMs folder and add a NDS folder and here is where you put your games. If you want to have artwork for each game, make an IMGS folder inside the folder with your ROMs in and then make sure any cover art you have downloaded is named the same name as the ROM and that it is in PNG format. Lastly, if you want to use Nintendo DS saves from another device, even a jailbroken DS, you can grab those and go to the drastic folder inside the emu folder, go to backup and here you place your save files. Make sure the save files are named the same as your ROM and that the extension is named .dsv. If you have .sav files, you can simply rename them to .dsv and they will still work. And there you have it, you have 1.6 version of Drastic running on Onion OS on your Mayu Mini and you're ready to play some Nintendo DS games. When you start a game, you'll be shown the hotkeys for Drastic. By holding the select button, you can press the corresponding button to use the hotkey. So select and R will toggle fast forward in the emulator. Select and R2 will save state and L2 will load state. You can also see the R2 alone swaps between each screen and L2 toggles an on-screen stylus pen that you can control with the D-pad and touch the screen with the A button. With the My Use menu button, we can check out some other drastic options. The most useful to us will be accessing if we want to skip any frames manually or automatically. Everything is pretty self-explanatory here and we probably don't need to touch anything. By pressing select and start together, we can access a different menu in Drastic. You can change the frequency of the CPU, so perhaps bump it up for some 3D games. And we can change how the display looks on the screen. I personally prefer filling the entire screen with one screen and toggling between the two, so I'll be doing that in this video. And we can also change the rotation of the D-pad. There may be some games where this is important. So that's all the setup. Now it's time to check out some games. Super Mario 64 DS is a really good one to start with. You can see that with R2, it's really easy to swap the screens over. And with L2, we bring an on-screen pen. When we press A, that will touch. And you'll see me demonstrate this here by messing around with Yoshi's face. <laughs> okay. And here it is in game. It really looks gorgeous on this screen. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately in my videos, but it really does. The Mayu does have an awesome screen. And I'm just using the select and R button here to toggle fast forward. And you can see that fast forward works extremely well. So that will work really great on some games like Advance Wars or other tactical kind of games where you just need to speed things along. 
and the game is not slowing down at all uh, just running around with Mario so just gonna show off some levels and gameplay here it's running amazingly honestly big surprise and I really love it And here I wanted to show both games the exact same thing on both the Mayu Mini and the Mayu Mini Plus since I have both and it's kind of interesting to just see the two screens here. To me my Mayu Mini looks like it has a more saturated screen whereas the Mayu Mini Plus is a bit softer but uh, I'm not sure there's like I like them both and there is this whole debate about like Mayu Mini not having like consistency in the products they deliver uh, everybody has like different kinds of screens you know they're not all like configured exactly the same however yeah look this is the same game running on both devices so it's the same hardware and they both run really really well Sonic Rush is a really cool DS title. It's awesome to have like more of these like Sonic games, more Mario games. Having this library on this device really kind of like fleshes things out. So this game plays like a regular Sonic platformer except with this case you have to use both screens cause the level will show at the top and the bottom. So as you're running around as Sonic, see as I go up I have to press the swap screen button and again and again <laughs> to follow Sonic. So if you were to play Sonic Rush, you would have to do this unless you change the, the configuration of the displays so that you're showing both on the screen at the same time. However, for me personally, I don't mind swapping between the two. So I'm just going to show more Sonic Rush gameplay here. Now we're going to kick off the Castlevania block as I'll call it. With the Nintendo DS you have three amazing Castlevania titles. You have Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin and Order of Ecclesia. So having these extra games to play on your Mario Mini is so cool to me. When I first got my Mario Mini Plus I actually had a Castlevania binge. Everything from NES Castlevania to uh, the PC Engine and going up to Symphony of the Night on the PlayStation 1. And now you can play each Nintendo DS Castlevania game on here. I think that's extremely cool. So I'm just going to show some of the gameplay here. Next up we have Chrono Trigger on the Nintendo DS. I think some people consider this one of the most definitive versions of Chrono Trigger. The dual screen is a really nice touch but there is also an option to set the game to be played in either the DS way or the classic way so you don't have to keep switching between both screens if you want to play this version. 
Either way, it's amazing to have this version of this classic on the Mayu Mini. I knew this one would go badly, but I really needed to see Dr. Kawashima's brain training for myself. It's kind of cool the way you hold the Mayu Mini and play this game, but trying to draw and you know you can't speak or other stuff like that. Yeah, don't don't play this one, but I'd like to see you try. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so what do I do here? And then I have to write the number. No way. I didn't even. I didn't even pick. <laughs> it's a five. Oh my god! How do I do a five? Oh, shit! <laughs> it's not a three. It's a five. New Super Mario Brothers is a classic and pretty wonderful to be able to play this on the Mayu Mini. Just like all these other games, I've not seen any problems. I fully believe that... I guess every Nintendo DS game is now playable on the Mayu Mini. So, enjoy this one too. It's not a Nintendo DS without some Pokemon, so this is Heart Gold. Actually pretty incredible that you can now play Heart Gold and Soul Silver as well as Black and White. I think that the DS Pokemon games are some of the most beloved ones, so this is a big win for Pokemon fans on the Mayu Mini. This is also a big win for RPG fans as well, as the Nintendo DS has some pretty amazing JRPG titles and other RPGs. So yeah, damn, what a cool library to have on this device. There's just so much more on the go that you can play, and Radiant Historia is just a top-notch RPG. Very cool game. This one's actually something I find really interesting. It's Tetris on the DS. This is actually one of my favorite versions of Tetris. And I used to play quite a bit of Tetris. It was something I find very calming and relaxing. I actually think Tetris is great if you're uh, feeling a bit anxious or you just need something to do, you know, like fidget your fingers around. And I just really like this version of Tetris and having it this pocketable on the Mayu Mini uh, it's, that's so awesome. That's really awesome. And of course, we're going to have to show off a Zelda game. This is Phantom Hourglass. This is also the modded version, which does not require the stylus. 
and allows you to play with the D-pad and buttons. I've never played either of these games. I'm not really interested in the DS Zelda titles, but having these available as well is also just another great notch to having this device. And that's it, Nintendo DS emulation on the Mayu Mini with Drastic. And it's come a long way and I'm pretty impressed with what you can do on this device. There's a huge library of games available now, so just incredible work and can't wait to play more games like that on the Mayu Mini. So if you liked that video, please give it a like. Click the bell icon if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one.